Hey guys, welcome back to another new video, Dark Reacts, back at it again, and today we're going to take a look at Milan Farmer, yes, with Timeless, um, the tour, 2013 intro, and I'm looking forward to this reaction, guys, made possible by you, and also Patreon subscribers, so check it out, and that's what I'm going to do, it's been a while since I've done a Milan uh, intro live performance, and I'm looking forward to this one, guys. Before we get into the video, please take a moment, comment, like, and subscribe, I'd love to hear feedback, makes videos like these all the more possible and also take a moment to follow me and like me both on instagram and on facebook and if you're new to the channel guys welcome i also have a patreon link down below be sure to check that out when you get a chance help support my channel makes recommendations like the one you're about to watch all the more possible all right guys without further ado let's go Wow. Interesting. Wow. This is amazing. Uh, <laughs> I mean, not much happening, just visuals, visuals. A lot of, a lot of these, like, like little, these little things coming at you, um, almost creating like a 3D effect, uh, Milen. She's so expensive. Milen is very, very expensive. We know that, guys. But I love this. It almost gives you the, 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 uh, the, um, the feels like you're out in space. You know, out in space with the with those sounds, like on a planet or something. Um, you hear like the like a wind, a wind howling, um, and then you get a horn, a horn there, uh, out of nowhere. Oh my God! Creating and setting setting the stage of what's to come with these environmental sounds. Brilliant, brilliant. Love the visuals. Oh my god. Look at this. It's just incredible. I'm loving these synth sounds, guys. Loving these sounds. Uh, talk about kind of like a time warp or, or some kind of like force, gravitational pull, um, almost kind of like Star Trek vibes, you know, as you're out in space in a way. By the way, this is t uh, Timeless Genesis, the beginning, and then she's going to go into a force there. Um, that's going to be interesting to see that. But um, I, I've said it again, she's giving you, a t she's teasing us with these sounds, teasing us of what's to come, and um, only she can pull this off, only she can pull these off. Talk about um, kind of like very, very techno technological um, sounds that we're getting here with this. Technology playing a big role, uh, apparently, for this tour um, and, the, and this performance. Oh. Oh. 
Look at this. This is amazing. Now the sounds are getting stronger, the pace is increasing. Talk about enticing us, enticing us, gripping us to the to the to our chairs, waiting, waiting for something to happen. Everybody waiting patiently as they stare to stare at the screen. Um, and you're getting all these sounds come in, rolling in now. Um, almost sounding like um there's chains um being kind of like slammed against something. Um, uh, like I've said many times with, 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 with Milan and her, um, organic sounds and stuff like that, but, um, loving this environmental mood, setting the stage for what's to come. I'm going to keep saying that guys, but I love it. I love what she's doing here visually too. that this was going to happen the screen was going to split open like that towards the middle i wonder if she's going to come through that thing we're so i'm so custom seeing her propel from the skies um and come down um ascending ascending from the skies and coming down i'm so used to that and you know we've seen we've seen performances where she does those things and she surprises us as she's like you know coming out of these different places but look at this look at this guys ah what a feast for our eyes um, as the center of the screen opens up to reveal some kind of like porter, port uh, portal, portal, um, Stargate vibes, guys, Stargate, love it, love sci, love sci-fi stuff. Look at that! Oh my God, is that real? She looks like she's being electrocuted, or at least she looks like a cyborg, right? Doesn't she look like a cyborg, like some, like like T two, Terminator two, getting those vibes? By the way, guys, I don't think that that is a uh, graphic or, or or a screen trick. Um, I think that's an actual prop. I think that's an actual prop, and that is amazing. That's amazing. Talk about money, guys. Talk about expensive. <laughs> Unbelievable. I love it. I love what she do does here, guys. This woman is queen of entrances, queen of entrances. Um, I can't think of anyone else that, that comes close. Maybe Madonna. Um, and you guys are going to hate me for that, Madonna fans. But, um, you know, Madonna and her, they, they, they pour their money into, into things like this. They do. And, and, and here's proof. Here's proof on this one. Um, talk about um, output. Oh, my God. Sustain, sustain.
Oh my god, her voice is so good. This one has a lot of layered vocals in it, um, and the synths on this are very heavy. This is a very synth-heavy song um, with uh, um, somewhat of a, of a techno dance type of uh, uh, quality to it. Not so, not not very dancey, but it's just it just has kind of like that mood, you know, that mood, um, and it's very interesting. By the way, her vocals, guys, um, to begin this, sinking high, very very high. Um, um, not accustomed to hearing that from her, so that's a nice, nice treat for me to to, to see that um, and to witness this um, as she sings this. And I think she is now getting into um, a force de, you know. So that's that's pretty cool. I'm loving it. I love how she came in. Um, that cape. I thought her cape was gonna get stuck. It looked like it was gonna get stuck, but you know, she's gonna pull this off, guys. She's amazing. She's truly amazing. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Sustain it. Truly, hear um, her the 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 length, the length, the vocal output from Milen in this song, because she's really stretching. She's really stretching her vocals with this one, and I like that. I like that because you, I mean, the thing is, a lot of her songs that I've, I've heard um, specifically in the past have been really heavy with instrumentation. This one, for for this one, you hear her voice very very clear, very very clear. And um, what I like it is that the synths are not. Over being overdone, they're not over overdoing her vocal output. So that's what I like it. Um, and you kind of hear like a like a manipulated synth acting as a bass, as a bass for 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 the song. Um, but it's just fantastic. It's fantastic. You hear those little things in the back. Oh my god, they give this song so much texture. I love it. But her voice here is truly stand out. Truly stand out with this performance. Um, I love it. I love it. À force de Je n'ai pas su te dire oh, que j'ai envie de vivre Donner l'envie de vivre A force de courir De perdre l'équilibre Donner l'envie de vivre La force des rapides Les vents qui se déchirent Donner l'envie de vivre A force d'étincelles Que la nature est belle Uh. Here we go, here we go. There's the synth in the back. I love this. She's amping the crowd. The music now is, is starting to get into, into an instrumentation break. She looks fabulous, guys. She looks fabulous. She is... um. You know, donning this this um, donning this nice gown type of elegant gown with a nice slit to 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 make it real nice and sexy. You know, Milan, and I love the choice of the colors too, kind of like a pastel color. We've seen her outfits in the past, um, and they've been crazy. They've been crazy. So this one here is um, uh, so so scaled back that I'm not accustomed to seeing that from her um, in terms of, uh, of of elegantness. But I think she did don a black one that I liked. Um, in the past, 
um, from an, an, another another live performance of hers. But I love this one. I love this one. This might be a favorite color of hers. She's been using this kind of like peachy uh, color a, a lot um, in her in her lives uh, live live performances. Um, looking good, sounding great. Instrumentation is winning this one, winning this one, and also her voice. I like what they did here. They're, it's it's not overdone. It's not crazy, and I think it's because of the audio quality. Um, a lot of her her videos I've reacted to, the audio quality is like like this because um, they're older. They're much older performances. You know, '90s, '80s, and all that. So it's just so good to hear to to hear something fresh and and and, and sound good. And everybody singing along. Interesting song, by the way, to open up the the the, the tour. Love the drums. Nicely done. Nicely done. Milan doing her thing as always, proving to us that she's capable of anything when it comes to sound and visuals and uh, a feast for our, our eyes and ears, both all the way around. My God, she's she's unbelievable. Um, So this entrance is very, very unique, uh, I guess, for the setting itself, because I think she wanted to kind of give herself kind of like a cyborg um type of treatment in terms of uh, effects and and overall concept and the theme i like it i like it i love sci-fi guys i love sci-fi um and i've seen sci-fi in the past with with her other i think it was interstellars i think that was it can't remember but um timeless 2013 you have to think about also two of uh, uh that that era um, 2012, 2013, heading into kind of like these unknown uh, years of what's to come. You know, the whole Mayan thing, the calendar, and and all that stuff. You know, uh, it's just so I like I, I kind of like her her outlook and what she was trying to come up with um, in terms of, of of creativity. Very very nicely done, guys. You saw that prop on stage. I mean, that thing was completely 100% real, um, and it looked like an actual piece of equipment that NASA has out in space. I mean, it's unbelievable. It just looks like that. It looks like that. It's just uh, uh, incredible, incredible. Um, I'm glad I reacted to this. I wanted to see this. A lot of a lot of hype, a lot of buzz from you guys. Um, and I got, I got to it. Um, the sixth concert tour by French recording artist Milan Farmer. Uh, it was it sport, it supported the singer's ninth studio album, by the way, guys. Uh, Monkey Me 2012. And the tour began uh, September 7th, 2013 and ended on December 2013. So short-lived. 39 shows, 5 countries, performing over 500,000 people. Very interesting. And the set list, guys. 20 songs and 2 encore performances. This concert is huge. Huge. By the way, she's got a virtual duet with Moby on this. Very interesting. I like Moby. I know, I know, I know of him um, and back in the day. Back in the day. So... Uh, I, I might have to check that out, but she's got a lot of songs here that I've, um, I'm interested in. I mean, Sans Contrafracion, I've, I've, I think I've looked at that one, XXL, um, Al Hombre, you know, that one, I've done that one. So there's some songs that I've, that I'm familiar with, Desenchanti, did that one too. Uh, she's got one, Mad World, interesting, with Gary Jules, who's, who's that? I gotta look into that. Oh my God! Amazing. So she released uh, "Timeless" two thousand thirteen as the sixth live album, a live album, guys, um, and it documents the timeless, timeless tour performances at the Hale Tony Garnier at at Lyon, France, um, and it was directed by Francis Hans and was screened in more than one hundred cinemas across France, Belgium, Switzerland. On the twenty seventh of March of two thousand fourteen, and it was released on DVD and Blu ray. I wonder if that's what I watched. I wonder if I watched the the Blu ray one. Uh, it's possible. It's possible. But look at these lyrics, guys! Amazing, amazing. 
Upside down the, this world reigns at Vienna. Life is beautiful. By dint of dying, I can t not tell you I want to live. Give me the desire to live, a strength to run, lose balance. I like to I, I like to live. Give me the desire to live. The strength of rapids, winds tear. Give me the, the will to live. I love when she brings elemental things and she sinks them into her lyrical content and uses them as metaphors for her, her, her for her. It's just, oh, I just love it. I love that stuff. It's like almost like poetry. Great stuff. Impalable is flame. Life is beautiful when you love. Beautiful, beautiful song. Her vocals on this performance were superb, superb. Um, and I mentioned audio quality being a factor, but I just like it because it was very ethereal, very lifting. Um, it just it just had a lot of those elemental qualities. Um, it was very interesting, but the sound was um, very very sci-fi, very technological. You know, technological, very interesting, um, and you can thank the synths for that. So, incredible and nice use of, uh, of drums, by the way, too. There was the the, the drummer the sound uh, the the drummer uh, sounded really really prominent in this one. So that was pretty good too. Um, everything, everything about that. Love, love the use of the synths and even the horns to begin. So all in all, this was a stellar one, guys. Stellar one. I want to see more openers. Please leave your comments, suggestions down below. I would love to hear what you have to say, guys, and I'll see you guys next year. This is going to be the last official video for uh, 2020. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my Mi Len run. And, and I ain't going to stop. I ain't going to stop. It's going to be uh, more and more to come most definitely um, next year. And I'll see you guys for all those videos that are going to be coming soon. So take care. Um, happy New Year. Until next time for more videos like these. Love you guys. Take care. Peace. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like these, be sure to check this one out. And also take a moment to comment and like and smash the subscribe button. Stay on all the latest reaction videos. And guys, I have a Patreon link. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support the channel. Makes recommendations like the one you just saw all the more possible. All right, guys. Take care. I love you guys. Peace.